More breaking news in Derry, New Hampshire. The death of a father and his six-year-old son has been ruled a murder-suicide. Police say that father sealed off a room on that property and then filled it with carbon monoxide. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Derry tonight with the breaking details. Christina. Well, Lisa, police went into this home when they got a call from Matthew Edmonds' work saying he didn't show up at a metal fabrication plant. And when they went in, they found a note hanging from a ceiling fan in the living room. They said that they, you will find me and my son in the bedroom. And the note went on to say, be aware of dangerous carbon monoxide levels. When an adult dies, it's rough. But when a child dies that's never had a chance, it's tragic. Small tokens of the sadness in Derry's Kendall Pond community after the news that the father who lived in Unit 35, Matthew Edmonds, poisoned himself and his six-year-old son, Preston Edmonds, in a locked room. That, that room itself had been sealed from the inside, duct tape and also using a blanket. Uh, also in the room were two charcoal grills. Uh, inside the grills both contained burnt charcoal and ash. It's, it's sad because he was young, you know. It's, I'm sorry. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's sad. It's so close to home. I mean, it's young and, and he just seemed like he, he did all the right things, you know. Neighbors emotional. A six-year-old dead? That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Jim Noble lives across the street. He says the two had become reclusive in recent days. As I went over and asked if he was okay because I hadn't seen him in quite a while, right? And he said that his son Preston had an operation, had surgery or something, and that's why he hadn't gone anywhere. Investigators say they don't know what the father's motive was, but they're looking into the drowning of another son 10 years ago. His name, Connor, is on a license plate in the driveway. That's something that investigators are going to be going and taking a look at, as well as a lot of other different sort of aspects of this. Investigators also said there was a pile of written documents left behind. They're now going through and hoping it will shed some light on the question of why this happened. In Derry, New Hampshire, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Just